You heard Kathy mention this. We've had 15 consecutive days of bad air in and around Denver. Mix of wildfire smoke and ground ozone pollution. It's a different brew than what was in Denver's infamous brown cloud of the 70s and 80s. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen looks at whether the clouds change for the better or the worse. Wildfire smoke from out of state is only part of a pollution cocktail creating the hazy skies on the front range. If you'd ask me straight out, I would guess that the wildfire smoke is not needed to make that happen. This is a classic high ozone day. Atmospheric scientist Frank Flock says the out of state wildfire smoke can increase the ground ozone on the front range, but the main source of our high ozone lately is on the interstates. We are fully back in business. There's no, no effect anymore visible from COVID or anything like that. He says the traffic count on I-25 through Denver is back up above 250,000 vehicles a day and that it's higher than it ever was before the pandemic. So is this wildfire ozone mix of today worse than the brown cloud of the 70s and 80s? I mean, the brown cloud was a completely different issue. Flock says you can't make a fair comparison because the smog of the 70s and 80s was made up mostly of direct emissions like carbon monoxide. Our pollution today is secondary emissions, meaning it's pollution that was chemically changed by solar radiation or wildfires. We've essentially traded one bad air quality issue on the front range for another. Flock says it's possible that our new problem is just as bad as our old one. We we are doing it to ourselves and, and, and yeah, we can blame wildfires, but if you go back a little few steps, uh, you know, you end up with yourself. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen for next.